Now, I do want to add that sample import is an in-app purchase, but you only need to purchase it once. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Novation's launchpad for iOS. It's a universal app, so it works both for iPhone and iPad. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to import multiple samples instead of just grabbing one by one. And we're going to be using AudioShare since it integrates into Launchpad and the sample import system fully. Now, the process of importing samples, whether you're using an iPhone or an iPad, the only thing you need to do is to locate where to start. On the iPad, the interface is a bit different than what you have on the iPhone. To import samples, you go to the Edit Pads menu, and here you can find the sample import. Now, to find the same options on the iPhone, you simply tap the pen icon up here, and then go down to Sound. And if you're inside the categories menu, sound packs menu, or favorites, all you need to do is to switch to the head icon right there. And here is your sample import. Now, after these stages, the work you need to do is identical in both versions of Launchpad. Now, when importing samples, I do suggest that you always create a new folder and give that folder the same name that your project has. It's a great way of organizing your imported samples so they won't mix together with other stuff, making it easier for you to find a specific loop. You close this menu by tapping outside of that menu box and you can get the menu back if you press the plus sign once again. And here we have our import options. And as you can see there, we've got audio share. Let's just press that option and we get this window right here. Audio share integrates fully with Launchpad, which is very, very, very neat. Now I want you to have a look at this row up here. It says import this folder. And this is the option you use to import multiple samples and loops into Launchpad. But beware, if you do this while in the main archive, then Launchpad will try to import everything. So make sure that you have a specific folder for the specific loops and samples that you want to import, like I've got here. Now here I have three loops and all I have to do now when I'm in this folder is to press import this folder and it goes back to Launchpad. What you see here is categorization options. And since I've already put base inside the name of my loop, Launchpad detects that and assigns it to the base category. And I love that. It also knows the BPM of my loop and the length of it in beats. Now Launchpad isn't perfect because it put my lead inside Melodic, but I'll change that back and there we go. Now, after checking this information right here, all you have to do is to press the import right there. As soon as you've done that, it imports the loops. And now I've seen I've done a small mistake. All of these loops were supposed to be inside this untitled folder that I made, but I did the mistake of not choosing the folder before importing my samples. So now they're outside of the folder, but it's so easy moving the loops. All you need to do is to tap this pen icon up here, choose the loops you want to move, press move, go into the folder you want to place them and press move here. When you're done, just press this sign up here and now we have all of the loops inside the specific folder. Now, I do want to add that sample import is an in-app purchase, but you only need to purchase it once. I mean, since you can use Launchpad at the same time on multiple devices, all you need to do to access the sample import on every device where you're using Launchpad is to enter the store and choose to restore your in-app purchases. Now, I've got a purchase restored instantly, but if you're doing this for the first time, then you'll probably be prompted with a login screen. So you'll have to put in your App Store account information, enter your password, and then press OK. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon page. So if you want to support me in that way, you can see the address right here and also find it down in the description together with an app link for Launchpad. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go and finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.